Hey there YouTube, my name is Brad. Welcome back to the shop. We have a few more minutes towards the end of the day here. So I figured we might as well crack open these oil, oil filters. David Boyd sent these to us. They're both brand new. And I haven't ever heard of the high flow uh, filter before. And I, I don't think that I've ever actually seen an SNS oil filter. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these are constructed. They're both brand new. We're gonna crack them open with the oil filter tool that I have. If you're interested in looking at how much one of these costs, I'll post a description down to one that's on Amazon, down in the des description. But let's take a little closer look at them. And I also have this third one for my car. It's not for a Harley Davidson, it's for my car. But since we're cutting open filters, might as well take a look at them. If you haven't seen the previous video, where we cut open four oil filters, including the new Milwaukee 8 one and a new Harley Davidson one. I will also put that a link to that video down in the description. Make sure that you check that one out too. So we're gonna do basically kind of the same thing and check these out. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. All right, here's the oil filters David sent us and it came along with this note. David's actually a really nice guy. I don't know him personally. And he also sent along this very nice letter along with this bag of M&Ms. So thank you, David, I appreciate it. I haven't posted any videos lately, but he says down at the bottom, hope all is well, you and, you and Joe and the dog. Joe is my dog. So we are, we're doing well. Joe's on a new heart medication and everything's going well with that. He seems to be sleeping much better and that means i'm sleeping a lot better too so things are going well thank you david i appreciate it i believe i have a picture of his motorcycle it's a white soft tail with uh, the red and blue stripes on it i'll post it post it up somewhere if i figure out how to do that but once again thank you david so these are the two oil filters he sent us they're both brand new i ripped the top open on this one and check it out already and then this is one from my car. I have a 5.3 liter General Motors Vortec V8 engine. It's in a Saab 97X. I drove it all the way back from New Mexico. Everything was perfect. The oil pressure on it was great. It was above half on the gauge. And then I changed the oil and the oil filter on it. And in the first like three miles, the oil pressure is normally above half and then it dropped down below half, and then it dropped down below that, and then it was kind of like popping up and down, and then it dropped down to zero. So I turned the car off, and then I restarted it, and it was back up to half, but it was weird. And it was weird that, obviously, you know, not having oil pressure is very concerning, but it was just an unusual situation. This is an oil filter, I believe I bought it on Amazon, along with the Mobile One oil that goes in it. So then I was like, oh crap, you know, that's a very serious situation. So I went to AutoZone and bought a Mobile One oil filter. And I didn't even change the oil. I, I just, I unthreaded this filter that I had just put on it. I unthreaded this and then put the Mobile One on it. And it's been perfect. I drove it like three hours yesterday. Beautiful oil pressure, fantastic. So. I don't know if there's something funky with this filter or if we're going to find something funny in it. You know, cross your fingers, pray to God that we don't find any type of like weird metal in it. But it's a tiny little thing, isn't it? Like how this oil filter is for a V8 engine, 5.3 liter. And then this oil filter is for a motorcycle. You know? So I don't know what it is, but, but let's take a look at the Harley Davidson oil filters first. So here we go. So the first thing that I noticed is like the crimping on the bottom of the, like those little grooves are very similar in between the SNS and my car oil filter. But the high flow oil filter has a fantastic surface finish on it. It's like, it's smooth. Any type of other black oil filter I've ever seen has a bit of a rippliness and where it's like powder coated like this or, you know, painted or whatever it is, it doesn't have a hundred percent like reflection 
on the shininess where this one does like it is honestly a beautiful oil filter I believe this is the cheapest one that I've tested or actually that I've cut open that I'm gonna be cutting open but it's also nice to see that it has a little piece of plastic on top like that's a nice little touch not to mention that it kind of has a handsome box along with it you know like the box itself looks good the name itself sounds good it says that it's like TUV certified and then as I was looking into the high flow oil filter uh, it looks like they have a race series as well which is slightly more expensive than this one and it has a nut on the back of it like a K&N style and I don't know other internal features so just interesting so I like that that's the first oil filter I've seen too that has like a clear protectant on it and this top uh, I think you call this the tapping plate. The tapping plate's super thick. Just like right from here, I can tell one, two, three, four, five threads. And it looks very robust. But, all right, here we go. I'm gonna cut these. You know what, I'm gonna cut all three open. I'm just gonna do it right now. Once again, this is for my car. It's not for Harley Davidson's, but being that it is like very similarly sized, I thought it would be interesting to see what the insides look like and see if it's any a bit the same or any bit different. So here we go. Thank you, Boyd. I appreciate the filters and your kind words. So let's get going. All right, here we go. I'm really interested to see what's in the high flow. I don't know. I I have a feeling that there's like some sort of special magic in there or something. But <laughs> so in our hands right now is the SNS oil filter. You know what? Before I crack this one open. I'm also going to crack open a stock one because realistically that's what we're kind of comparing these two or looking at. So let me go grab a, a used Harley Davidson oil filter. All right, so we're back. We have the SNS. The high flow, both both brand new oil filters. We have the Harley Davidson used oil filter that I just grabbed out of the oil bin. We don't know what motorcycle it's off of. It is a twin cam oil filter, but I was just it's a used oil filter. And then we have a car oil filter. So the SNS top plate kind of look at that versus the Harley-Davidson one you can tell it's a Harley-Davidson one because it's got a little barn shield in there so the top o-ring looks very similar if not identical Uh, it is a slightly smaller in circumference, the SNS one. But, yeah, and you can tell the Harley Davidson one is just slightly thicker. Interesting. The drain bag valves are very similar. Well, at least the top side of it is. 
in the cup shape of it. Tapping plate, I believe they call it. Very similar. Obviously, the Harley Davidson one has a few more oil holes in it. And maybe it looks like a few more little like spot welds. Very similar in weight. This one has the safety bypass valve in this top assem assembly. Like in the other video, we saw that the early, that the older Harley Davidson oil filter had that same type of assembly. But then at some point in time, the normal twin cam oil filter changed to where it has the safety bypass valve built into the bottom of the oil filter. Let's pull it out of the can. It's a tight fit in there. I was not expecting that. Oh, the camera turned off. I don't know where it turned off. So. All right, let's take a look at the high flow oil filter. So the top gasket is a little bit shorter than the s, &S and a little bit shorter than the Harley Davidson one. That's interesting. I don't know if it means anything, but nevertheless, it's interesting. The top plate, I don't know. I feel maybe it's because the holes are slightly smaller, but it feels a little heavier. This is a high flow. This is the s, &S. Now, I don't know what it is about the threads, but they look like they're just really nice. I don't know what it is about them. That makes them look really good, like... I don't know. And then, the anti-drain bag valve is completely different on the high flow. Like, it has a few different shapes to it. It's very soft. Where the s, &S it's a little bit thicker material like I don't know if you can tell from the size of it but this is a little bit thinner than the s, s and also the Harley Davidson it's a little bit thinner overall interesting now the media in it it's got a whole it's got a lot of it it's looking like a K&N almost if you saw the other video but versus the s, s it looks like it has more pleats and obviously it has a little bit taller surface area to it. It looks like the pressure or the bypass valve is, yep, it's built into the bottom. Let me see. Right there. That's interesting. That's the first time we've seen one of those, I think. No, you know what? The Canon, it had one that looked just like this, I believe. Well, like how it was in the bottom. That's interesting. The inside of the can is interesting too, because it has, like, it's not super smooth. Like, the s, &S is a pretty smooth inside, but this looks like maybe there's a coating on the inside like it's galvanized or something or I don't know if that's just oil from the assembly process like it doesn't really seem to be coming off and there isn't like vis visual dirt in there it's just a it's a funny finish 
and it has a a spring. Ooh, the s, &S has a very stiff spring that sits on the bottom of the oil filter cartridge to fit it up into the bottom of the oil filter housing. Where the high flow has a larger coil, but it's a softer spring. Don't know if that matters. I'm gonna be interested to see. Oh, and I like this how the media is like on the SNS one. It's just kind of like tucked up against each other. I wonder if we're gonna. I wonder if we're gonna be able to see that it's like sewn together or something. Where the high flow one. It has this metal banding that's like crimped. That's impressive though. Look at how much like material that is. Alright, so the, this is a newer generation twin cam as we can tell by the black pressure bypass valve. The media definitely seems to be full of oil. It's definitely a used oil filter. Let's take a look at this car oil filter. Dang, it's definitely full of full of oil. That's for sure. That is a, a very funny type of construction. And then it has this little thing to lift it up off the bottom like that. I'm going to stick a magnet inside of it and see if there's any ferrous metal. Dang, look at that. Just like, I don't know if you can see. But, just like when I put the oil filter down, there's all this black crap in it. I hope that's not friggin metal. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Look at how thick that is. Oh my god, goodness. That is wild. Dude, I have... It looks like dirt. Like... And it doesn't feel, again, this is a car oil filter, but I'm going to pour this, pour this out after I run a magnet through it. All right, so I have a magnet. See, it sticks to the table and also it sticks to the bottom of the oil filter. feel like it just pulled up like the black stuff. It doesn't seem to be like metallic, that black stuff. This oil filter has less than like... So the crazy thing here is I just pulled the oil pan and did a modification to it. Uh, changing the baffling inside, made sure the oil pan was 100% clean, put the oil pan back on, fresh oil, and this is a brand new oil filter on it, and it has three miles on it, and it has all this black, like, dirt in it. What's really interesting to me is that it seems to be, like, sediment that's, like, on the bottom of the filter, on the bottom of the housing, at least. I've never seen anything like this.
Like this is so interesting how black this oil is. Because when I unthreaded the oil filter, it was clear. Like it was 100% fresh, clear oil. Look at all this black. Dude, it looks like dirt. It smells like oil, but wow. I'm excited. You know what? This makes me want to take off that brand new oil filter that I just put on yesterday and cut it open. Like this is crazy. This is so crazy. I'm so glad that I thought of the oil filter. Like like just us Harley Davidson people we're used to oil pressure problems and all of that and the oil filter is never really on my mind like when a bike comes in as far as the oil pressure problems dude i bet you this filter is just full of that it, you know it it almost looks like like carbon buildup but it has a grittiness like a dirt to it hmm but it sure is a cheap filter, like, man, that is so wild, dude, like, and it's not ferrous, it almost looks like carbon or sludge. When I had the oil pan off, everything, like, in the bottom end looked beautiful, but you know, just from visually, visual inspection. I guess I was hoping to see a damaged, like, filter or something. Like, it looks like crap. Like, it's definitely a crappy oil filter. Like, they say that this top part's bonded to the bottom and all of that business, but... Hmm. I wonder what all that could be. I don't know. I was not expecting to find a bunch of black stuff. Like, look at how thick it is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like... Dude, it just feels like dirt. Like, it feels like super fine dirt. But it doesn't feel gritty at all. Hmm. Huh. All right, well that's enough with the car oil filter. Let's, yeah, let's clean this up a little bit and we'll come back and we'll look at the motorcycle oil filters and I'll probably cut this one open too and we'll look at how long they are. Here we go. Thanks for hanging in there.
All right, so we've just cut the media off. And there's a few interesting things about these oil filters. So, like the actual height of the cartridge between the Harley Davidson and the SNS is the same. And then the height of the cartridge of the high flow is quite a bit larger, but then it has this interesting way that the filter media is organized, like where there's these little gaps in there and you can kind of see that like in the way that the paper is cut as well and it's quite a bit taller so like when you look at the width of the paper it's like even the cart cartridge assembly itself has a much higher volume than like the Harley Davidson one or the SNS one, like where the media fits. That's pretty interesting. And then that the safety bypass valve is like a, a, an a assembly that's just kind of spot welded in there. All right, let's measure out how long the media is. So this is the SNS. Oh my gosh, that thing's long. It's much longer than I was thinking. All right, so the SNS is. Oh man, that thing really stretches. That is a lot longer than I was thinking it was going to be. I don't know if you can tell, but it is 69 inches long. I'm gonna we'll move you down just so you can see. 69 inches long on the SNS. And then 90 here we have the high flow. Oh my goodness. So the high flow media is so long that it's longer than my arm, arm span. So I'm going to clamp it over here. At the end of the table. And attach my measuring tape to it like that. Now I'm extending the media. Again, this is the high flow, normal version, not the race. This is the longest one, I think. Like, I can't imagine the can end was longer than this. I'll have to go back and check. But 86 inches, a little bit more than 86 inches on the high flow. That is just insane. Look, look at that. Ridiculous. Let's look at it versus the Harley Davidson. The length of it. And the Harley Davidson is like a different type of material where we had peeled it back and it's much more, it's like two different thicknesses of fabric with a metal backing to it. But here we see that it's 33 inches long. And this is a very paper, paperish like material. Same with the SNS. This is definitely a paper type of material. Which is interesting. Whereas the SNS is paper, the high flow is paper. And like I was just saying, the, the Harley Davidson is a metal backed, dual, like fiber type of filter. Now, the car oil filter. Just in case you want to know. 
is 45 inches long. So the interesting thing is that the, the outside of the material is just, it's full of crap. 100% full of crap, but the inside is perfectly clean. So I guess that's good news that the oil filter caught whatever all of this stuff is. But it's definitely like a, it's a weird type of muck. Like, I wonder if this is just like carbon buildup. Huh. I've never seen anything like that before, so. So that's very interesting. Pray for my engine. I guess the smartest thing for me to do is to pull the oil filter off again and check it out. I'm gonna cut open the Mobile One oil filter. And you know what, maybe I'm gonna keep this. I'll probably keep that and check it compared to the Mobile One oil filter and see if the Mobile One oil filter has any crap in it, so. Harley Davidson oil filters again, the SNS, the high flow, which is very impressive. I really like this high flow one. I like the way that the can's made. I wait, like the finish on it, because let's be real, you know, looks are important. Well, to some people, they're important to me. So I like the way the can looks. I like the way the media looks. You know, if you're into paper filters, I like the the amount of media there that I thought that was really impressive and then I'll cut open my car oil filter and hopefully it will be cleaner so thanks for watching like and subscribe thanks David Boyd for sending me these oil filters I would never have known about high flow oil filters without you sending me one so Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.